Well, first of all, it's hard, hard, hard to believe it's 60 years. But uh, that's it's a great place to start. <laughs> I drive my car right into the garage, step out of the car, and start to draw. I love it. <laughs> I love it. where people started their careers. So the company was really started by my great uncle John uh, in 1958, and it was really most likely at the urging of my grandfather, who as president of the Springdale School Board said, hey, we're gonna do a new high school and you should be the architect for this and um, we're gonna need you to create your own business and start your own company to, to make this happen. So quit your job and open your own company and, and that's what he did basically around that project. Well it was um, Uncle John's first significant building. Uh, it was experimental in many ways. You see the glass block there in the curve? It was a colored glass block and it's the first time it was invented. And it's never been done before. Groundbreaking, yeah. I got out of school in, in uh, 86 and uh, graduated in 87. And the two of us were just doing little projects, him on the dining room table at home and, and me on the coffee table in my apartment. And uh, uh, at some point, I, I, I convinced Dad that it might be important for us to have a real office and actually create a real um, business. Uh, out of what it was we were attempting to do. Ultimately, we hired about, uh, we had about five, six people, and that was about the time that we found Doughboy Square and, and moved into that building. Well, Lawrenceville has come a long way. It was a uh, very desolate, barren neighborhood when we got there. Um, the building that we moved into was, uh, it had been abandoned, windowless, um, basement full of water, uh, 2,000 pigeons were living in it at the time. Think back, and I always remember how he would just fold his arms and look out the window and spend hours just looking at, out the window at abandoned properties, and he, he just had this vision, and one day he said, you know, I think I'm going to start developing. I walk in that building every day, and I, I I realize that I know that I'm just about the luckiest guy on the face of the planet. I mean, the world's full of architects, but not every architect gets to walk into a space like that and, uh, and really gets to work on the kind of projects that we work on with the, the people that we work with. So we, you know, we've got 45 people that are just uh, um, happy and uh, enjoying the heck out of themselves and, and having a good time. and. Uh, producing neat stuff. So I, I'm just, I'm a very uh, lucky person and, and, uh, and I know that every day. The firm has gone through uh, really uh, some terrific uh, growth in the uh, uh, last half dozen years uh, specifically and that is in, in regards to um, uh, the project uh, size, scale, uh, design outreach capabilities. When I started six years ago, which doesn't seem like that long, we only had about 15 to 16 employees full-time, and now we're almost triple that. 
It's a fun, it's, a, it's an amazing fun, yeah. The colors are fun, everything's fun. The light, everything, yeah, this building is fun. It, it's just, this is just a great place to be. I wake up every morning looking forward to coming to work. I'm late every day, but it's not because I don't want to be here. You've got to love the client, and it's all about compassion and uh, making people happy. Yeah, it's not, it's not about what I get out of it, it's what they get out of it. Yeah, yeah. Let's walk around the building a little bit. Show me where you used to drive your car in. <laughs>